You've probably heard about climate change, where burning fossil fuels for our transportation, businesses, industries, and homes increases carbon dioxide, methane, and other gases in the atmosphere. Since the Industrial Revolution, we have emitted more than 200 billion tons of carbon into the atmosphere by burning fossil fuels, resulting in an increase in carbon dioxide. The numbers add up. You might think that if we just kept things the way they are, using the same amount of energy and producing the same amount of carbon dioxide, that the Earth's temperature would stay the same. But just as diamonds are forever, carbon dioxide is forever too. About half will stay in the atmosphere for about 100,000 years, essentially forever. And the other half will go into the ocean over a few hundred years. When carbon dioxide goes into the atmosphere, it leads to climate change. When it goes into the ocean, it makes carbonic acid, which makes the ocean more acidic. That harms coral reefs and ocean life. So the ocean is not a good place for carbon dioxide either. We are well on track to heating up the atmosphere and ocean by at least a few degrees. That's a big deal. When ice sheets covered the Northeast and Midwest almost down to the Ohio River, the Earth was only about six degrees cooler than it is today. These days, planting zones are moving quickly north, but plants and trees cannot move as quickly. Society must figure out how to maintain and raise prosperity around the globe without releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere or the ocean. At Carnegie Mellon University, we are working hard to understand the science of climate change, develop new energy technologies, and advise policymakers on how to cost-effectively provide the energy we need while virtually eliminating emissions of carbon dioxide across the globe.